Do they have it on the online library? It doesn't look like it. Speaking of cats and heat, that one's in heat right now. So, oh man! So it's like, well, which is which is actually kind of nice with that cat, because the black and white cat, she's normally unfriendly, doesn't like to cuddle, doesn't like to be pet, and then when she's in heat, she'll let you like rub her and stuff like that. Uh -huh. She loves it. The other cat, the black oh, cat, hi. she's just annoying when she's in heat. She just walks around the house, just going. Rah! Don't you? Oh yeah, you're in heat. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my goodness. Have some dignity. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care. I'm getting attention. <laughs> no. That is what she's like. Oh, yeah. aren't you a fluffy cat? Yeah, well. <laughs> well, I don't know why they don't have it online on the library. I'm oh, sorry. Do you still print it? Oh yeah. This one? Oh yeah, it's been a minute since I've held up this. We studied it. We went through the whole thing when we were dating and engaged. Yeah. I've gone through, actually, what is this, 96? I went through this when I was a teenager. The whole thing. Huh? Yeah. Yeah, I came out in 96 and like, they stopped doing the hard covers recently, I think, just to save money. Yeah. And then, like, this one right here is just from 2012. I mean, the pictures are super outdated. I mean, if that's not a 90s family, I don't know Oh, it is. <laughs> yeah. That's... <laughs> but, you know, the artwork, I mean, oh, it, it makes a point, but it's just like, oh, this is a little outdated. With with the 90s haircuts. Yeah. And then mm -hmm. the, yep. Yep. Okay. So, so together with you guys, you guys wanted to go over the Family Happiness book? Is that right? Mm -hmm. Okay. And then, you know, separately we can do, you know, whatever we yeah. want to do, yeah. whatever we want to do. So, yeah. this is nice to do together. And what's nice here, too, is that this is a, it, for the most part, stays out of doctrine and stuff like that. It's just like, here's some Bible principles to, you know, just be a decent Here you can download it off of the website. Oh, I can? Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's up for download. That's like... On jw.org, just not on the online library. Just not on the library. That's weird, because it's just... Six years old. Or, uh, okay, bye. Yep. Is she? Okay. Do I do meow, 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 meow. or EPUB? Um, you got iBooks, right? Pretty kitty yeah. kitty. I don't know. I do. You can do anything when you want. I think EPUB is a little bit easier because you can like click on the scripture and it'll like hyperlink you to the back of the book, the back of the file, or whatever. Let me do that too. That's really weird. It's not that hard. I know. You know it's just when we met, he, like, we were dating, what, like, two months, and he brought me down the TV we have now, because he found out. I just lived in my apartment, I didn't have a TV, and I just watched movies on my phone. Damn, I worked at Best Buy, and I was like, well, you get a like, $200 discount, so. He was like, what? <laughs> and so he was so sweet, because he lived two hours it's away, so he surprised me with a new TV and a Wii. Wii? Or what did you get me? Just a Blu-ray player? I think, I think it was just the Blu-ray player, yeah. 
thought you brought down a, or maybe it was the Wii you owned or something. Yeah, I think so. I don't think I would give you a Wii. Wait back there. That's a, that's a two hundred dollar console. <laughs> uh, no, I'll keep that for myself. Thank you very much. Okay. Seriously. <laughs> I'm gonna grab a vanilla coke and then we can kind of go through this a little bit. Um, so the secret to family happiness, like Nate said, it was published in the nineties, nineteen ninety six, and then it's been revised a couple times, like in twenty twelve and stuff like that. Uh, but basically, the goal of the book is just to take you through some basic Bible principles, and it just helps us to be, you know, uh, take us to be a good husband, to be a better husband, a good wife, to a better wife, you know, there's things like that. And then there's, like, different areas of the family that aren't, you know, um, that everyone deals with. Like, there's, we'll go through all the, the chapter titles and stuff like that, like, there's some here, like, uh, um, single parent families and like honoring our elderly parents, you know, that's different for everybody. Yeah. Like, that's going to be a lot different for Nate than it is going to be for, you know, say, Julie or something yeah. like that. So, and I did, I wanted to tell you too, that day we did that chapter in the Bible teach book yep. about, uh, and you're like, well, this verse, or the scripture that talks about, you know, our uh, wives are a weaker vessel. Right. You know, and it's obviously not the case with your mom. And I did some research on it, and I and I like to look at some you know uh, different scholars and see their opinions and stuff too. Yeah. But basically, uh, I thought this was really interesting. One guy, I forget his name, he said he said the, the scripture isn't saying that wives are a weaker vessel, like some of those translations says. He's like. As husbands, we're supposed to treat them like they are. So whether they are or not, they get treated that way. So like, your mom mm -hmm. is not a vessel, but the scriptural responsibility on your dad was to treat her like she was. Treat her gently, like mm -hmm. she's a valuable vase. Yeah, like you know, like, not like she's physically inferior. Exactly. But like so. you would treat a valuable uh -huh. vase or a valuable piece of. So it's something to think China. about. Yeah. I'll try to find the reference again for you, but I found yeah, that like a month ago or so, and I was like, oh, that's not so bad of a thought. Because because for the Bible just to blatantly say, wives are weaker vessels, uh -huh. isn't always true. You know, it's unique in different yep. cases. Yep. So that's kind of a thought there. Okay. Well, yep. let's start with prayer real quick, and we'll kind of go through this a little bit. Uh, Jehovah, our Father in the heavens, we come to you now to ask for your spirit and your guidance and your blessing on our study this evening. We pray, dear Father, that you let your word, the Bible, give us the principles we need to bring honor and glory to you and to bring us happiness in our family life and our marriages and just to be better for each other. And we pray that we can help each other be better people as well. But where we fall short and make mistakes, uh, please forgive us of our sins. We pray this now in the name and the merits of your Son, and our High Priest, Christ Jesus. Amen. Amen. So just right away, looking at the contents, you know, and I think it's just best just to start in chapter 1, and we'll go through it <coughs> progressively. But chapter 1 is, is there a secret of family happiness? Number 2, preparing for a successful marriage. Number 3, two keys to a lasting marriage. Number 4, with the wives, how can you manage a household? Number five, train your child from infancy. Which, you know, some of these we might skip to, like, if you don't have children. Uh -huh. uh -huh. I, mean, I mean, it's nice to know what the, uh, uh, what each other thinks about children and your opinions of it, but if you guys feel like <laughs> you want to skip that part, we can't. And then, help your teenager to thrive. That is that part. <laughs> that was an interesting chapter. I think it is, for sure. Uh -huh. um, is there a rebel in the house? Protect your family from destructive influences. Single parent families can succeed. When a family member is sick, maintain peace in your household. That's one of my favorite chapters. You can overcome problems that damage a family if marriage is at the breaking point. Oops. Growing older together, honoring our elderly parents, and secure a lasting future for your family. So those are some of the subjects that it considered important. Yeah, I haven't used my books in forever. So, all right. But, you know, we'll cross those bridges with those chapters when we get there. Mm -hmm. like that, so. Okay, so we'll just 
take turns reading, and then we'll ask the questions, and we'll just kind of get everybody's opinion. And, I mean, this is good for me and Danny, too, because, like... Yeah, like we said, we haven't gone over the whole thing since we were dating. Yeah, it's like six years ago, so... <laughs> a lot of the stuff in this book you forget. <laughs> and you just, it's just good to get reminders. So, okay. So, chapter number one, is there a secret of family happiness? Uh, paragraph one, I'll start. It says, the family is the oldest institution on earth and it plays a vital role in human society. Throughout history, strong families have helped to make strong societies. The family is the best arrangement for bringing up children to be mature.